Hey, this is Glendon with Making Money with Storage Unit Auctions. Yeah, it's been a long time since you heard that. But recent developments, I have had so many people like, hey, I'm buying units. How do I make money with units? How do I do this in 2013? And it's different. One of the queries that came by today was someone was really surprised and how friendly people were on the storage auction trail, which kind of makes some of my older videos invalid because people weren't that friendly back in the day because it was a war. And the simple fact is there are more new people on the storage auction trail than veterans. For some reason, it has totally shifted. And I'm not going to put it all on the shows. There's more to it than that. But there are way more new folks out there than old folks. And the margins are different. So the big question is, Glendon, is it still feasible to buy storage auction units to make money? The answer is yes. I'll be straight up with you. Are you going to make the margins that I made? No. Just being real with you. I mean, seriously, I go to auction, that's two, three, four, five, six people. Average person didn't even have a thousand bucks on them. Totally different ball game. But with that, you can still make a gang of loot. Over the years, I've worked with a lot of people that were in the storage auction business. I actually, my biggest client did like 2.5 million last year with storage auction inventory, but they had money. Okay, let's, let's be real clear. There was no $100 parlay that, no, they came to the table with sizable assets. So understand, it's a different ball game at that level. But I've helped a lot of people make money, get on the right path. And there are more and more people. It's kind of, I guess, settled down to where it's going to be. You know, if you know my story, I don't buy units anymore. My whole thing is hustling. I've been able to hustle my life from like, you know, shit, 1999 up to now without a job. So I'm very, very good at putting together infrastructure and strategy. And that's what I can do. And in 2013, you're going to need a different infrastructure, a different strategy. And I've put out a lot of information, but people are still thinking that they can kind of skip over this or not do this. And I've had one person who paid for a consult who wasn't doing Amazon, who wasn't doing eBay, and was wondering why it wasn't working out. Once they put those horses in the race, they was like, whoa, man, I got money coming in every day. Duh. So you got a lot of that stuff going on. So to address all of the questions, and like I said, it's like been a flood of questions to like the last three months. And maybe, you know, we finally settled to what's going to be the average storage auction crowd or the average storage auction price. And when I was in the business, every year the price of units went up and up, up. They just ticked up. There was inflation across the board and you could still get a unit for a steal. You could still get a unit for, you know, next to nothing. And I've had people, I've known people who've recently done such a thing. So what I'm going to do starting next Monday and it won't be 9 p.m. Eastern time. Now, this is the deal. This is what I'm going to do just to make it clear. Starting, actually, I forgot. Hold up. Hold that thought. I don't do webinars when there's Monday Night Football on. And it isn't me. It's just over the years I've learned that people don't show up. And then it's like, next day, man, you know, something happened. Yeah, it was called Monday Night Football. So starting Tuesday, we're going to do 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I haven't slept the other days, but I'm going to do what I call knowledge drops. You can sign up for the webinar and ask any question that you want and I'll put you in a special storage auction group that I have with people who are buying units and you can trade and talk amongst yourself because I've learned that when the group was small, people spoke up, people traded information, people were more free and it's a very small group. And then the one that I'm talking about is gonna be a new one because there's a new group of people coming in who want to get in the business and I have some really eager beavers who are already in it and I just think it'll be a good mixture of folks who are kind of come approaching it from the same level so what I'm gonna do is the webinars it won't be one webinar it's probably gonna be four or five sessions so you can sign up for that and what I'm also going to include is the ebook and audiobook of my last two storage auction books and that's going to be kind of the template, but there's some changes. 
this whole internet thing is changing so quick. And I didn't do a 2012 or 2013 book because the storage, there's so much information out there. And I've looked at some of it today and no one's really telling you how to build a business. They're like, buy low, sell high, don't spend too much. I have actually gone out and purposely spent a lot of money to, to mess up another guy and it was a winning strategy. There's a lot of strategies that go on. But this will be designed for someone who wants to be more than a part-timer. You know, if you're just like, hey, I just want a part-time, I want to get a few units, this isn't for you. This is for folks who are going to put 20 or more hours a week into it, have a few shillings to rub together, and a few shillings, like 1500 2000 you know, to buy. You need some capital to buy. This $50, 100 bucks. you're not going to get in the game real hard with that level of capital. It's just not going to happen. So, a few webinars, four or five, you know, Q&As, plus some instructions, some things that I didn't put in each, either book, and you will have video access to the webinars once they're done. I haven't decided, I'm probably going to just create another website where once it's done, because the thing is, it's not done, because part of the webinars will be your content, your contributions, your questions, so I can't put it together until I get that from you, which means we have to have the webinars. But starting next Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to put that into effect. So, understand, Q&A, ask anything you want to. Like I said, I'm going to drop some stuff that I haven't dropped before because it is also part of the new format of my channel, How to Make a Living Without a Job. I said it before anyone else said it. You can make a full-time living buying storage auctions. People are like, oh, no, you can't. 2009, no, you can't. 2010, shows came on. Now, yeah, sure, sure you can, Glenn. Now, I was first, okay? Hate it or love it, I was first. And I love saying that because it's true. But that's the deal. It's going to be a different webinar. It's going to be a lot more uh, content and totally different action. Totally different action. So go right there. Hit that bar. You'll be golden. I'm going to make you a deal. Probably one of the best deals I ever did because I'm going to resell this content over and over again. So I'm, I'm not going to break you over the head too hard. But it's going to be hard. It's going to be challenging. And I'm just letting you know, if you're in the Hustler Mindset Project, you're in. So there's no need to email me. <laughs> this, the videos will go in two different places. They'll go in Sparta when they're done and they'll go to the special site. So everybody will be covered. And I know I've got a lot of people who are really waiting for this information. So like I said, we will kick it off next Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to be part of the tribe, click this button and you're in. All right, this is Glendon, and I will see you on, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, my other channel, Mr. Glendon Cameron. Starting this week, there will be some more storage auction uh, stories. Like I said, this channel is just totally devoted to how to make a living without a job and content related to that topic. But there's still some fuckery. There will be more storage auction stories, more Craigslist stories, and all that stuff will be moving to Mr. Glendon Cameron because that's my throwaway channel of just fuckery stories and all kinds of stuff. And uh, there's another midget story that I haven't told you about. So with that, <laughs> hit that link below, sign up for the storage auction webinar, and I will see you on the good side.